Hi, this is Abel for Abel's Tutorials. Today we're going to learn about how to use color themes and uh, color swatches and recoloring our artwork in Adobe Illustrator. Hope you enjoy it. Today we're going to learn how to make a simple infographic. But in this lesson, we are also going to learn how to create color themes and how to save them in a swatch and use them to recolor your artwork easily. Let's get started. So we will open a new file. Let's create one. Size doesn't matter of the page. Okay. Let's create a background. We will, we don't need an outline, so we'll just go ahead and click on the fill, create a gradient. We'll take a uh, radial gradient here. We'll go ahead and make this a very light shade of, shade of gray, like so. Okay. We will go ahead and open the layers panel. Layers is right here. Okay. Let's name this background and let's lock this. Create a new layer. We'll work on this layer now. Okay. Press space bar and control or command on your laptops or PCs. <clears throat> okay. So first things first, now what we're gonna do is we will create a color theme. So let's go right ahead. So we, we have we'll open Adobe color themes. We will select shades here. Now when we move around our cursor, you'll see how you know the shades here, this is my primary color that I'm working on and this will take the rest of the other shades automatically. So let's go ahead and say create this color. Out here you can see this says add, add to swatches. All you have to do is click on it once. And let's go ahead and check our swatch. There you go, here it is. Now let's go ahead and create another one. Um, let's take a nice Sorry, just take me a little longer. Let's take this green. Okay. Go ahead, add to swatches. Let's select the blue. You can pick any color that you want to. I'm just selecting the obvious ones for these for this lesson right now. And let's select a good bright orange. Let's do, let's take that, okay. Cool, here we go. So let's close this. Let's make a shape. We can select the square tool from here, create a shape. You can see it's taken the previous fill. We need to, we'll still make it a gradient. Let's go ahead and color the first one. Okay, so we have our swatches here that we created, as you can see. Um, so I'm just going ahead and clicking on a swatch, a color first. Then I'll take the color I really want, uh, the base color that I want. Right here it is. So, okay. You see the plus sign as soon as I go to the circle here. So it will take the shade, the exact shade when I click here. So now I can just recolor it you can see how you can see the changes right here i'll go ahead and click another one 
let's make this a brighter orange make this to bring about the swatch i just need to double click this once so i forgot to mention this earlier there you go so we're just trying to give it a cylindrical shape here this seems a little dark we can lighten this up there we go so we have a basic shape here like a cylinder <clears throat> we can duplicate this shape uh, by pressing option or alt you can see my arrow changes into uh, two arrows or we can just create a new square so i'm just going ahead and going to duplicate this and holding shift i'm going to drag it there and i'm going to stretch it like so i don't need all these colors now so what i'm going to do is i'm going to keep this bright orange which i have i'm going to take this away and i'll duplicate this orange again and bring it here so like so and let's go ahead and create an angle as well uh, we'll take a minus 30 let's see what it does there looks a little good yeah there so we have a basic shape running now um, to make an arrow out of this let's go ahead you can see my smart guys guides are on so the pink guides that you see on the screen right now are telling me I'm right at the center point here and I'm just gonna make a point there and just gonna hold down shift and drag it out like so all right let's give this a shadow Oops. in fact why not just select both of them and give them a shadow uh, go to stylize top shadow you can click preview here so it can show you in real time what is happening around here so this is a predefined shadow that i had already given in the previous lesson so this is offset by a, by a point each and a blur by one point as well there i'm going ahead and clicking this this shape you need to bring it in front so go ahead and uh, bring bring that shape to front here you go to arrange bring to front there you go now you can see the shadow right here okay let's add some text as well we can create one box here it's already got a placeholder text we can go ahead select a font there you go so let's take a sans serif font um, let's see how, let's take impact yeah. okay let's bump up the uh, point size a bit there you go and remove that comma from there okay so let's color this white good now i'm just gonna hold down alt or option on uh, the mac and duplicate this like so and just increase the text a bit i'm gonna reduce the point size here make it 10 um, I can also open the text box from here the text properties from here so there you can see the point size is 10 and I'll make it 12 make this a different font let's take uh, say Arial for this example so it's 10 on 11 here and all I need to do is go ahead fill with placeholder text there you go and let's also create a line there it is 
this is the outline here let's give it a weight now this is one point as you can see yeah so there we are and uh, we can center these three and going ahead and and then visually just making it set in the center of the card okay now the reason when I when I told you we need to uh, ma make this beforehand you will see how easy it is for us to now recolor the entire artwork so we're just going to duplicate this you can see my smart guides are telling me the bars are equal distant there we go okay so we'll <coughs> we'll leave this one as orange let's go ahead and color this one first we go to edit this is one of the easiest things i've found you know uh, without uh, going back into um, you know uh, the gradient and filling color uh, finding colors and doing what not so here as you can see my themes have come that i chose earlier all i have to do is select this particular theme and it will change these are the it will change the shades here so these are the selected colors on the bar right now and these three are the suggested colors like so okay so as you can see it is the darkest color is here so i can easily grab it and hold and move it down and it will interchange now this and this this is lighter or this is darker right so again i can change that and there you can see in real time because my preview is on uh, how it has changed the color there i just say okay it will ask me for this instance if i have to rearrange my swatch color theme so i just press yes that's it again i select this go to edit um, edit colors recolor artwork like before i just select the same theme as you can see it has again rearranged colors so this dark color this is the darkest color here i just have to drag this down like so this is fine this shade seems fine as well this shade seems fine as well so and your artwork here is looking pretty good so just go ahead and click yellow it rearranges the uh, color theme you say yes that's it now we go ahead select this one same case edit colors recolor artwork make it purple rearrange again that's it okay this is so easy to do this There you go. So now we can close this. There you go. Now, as you can see, how easy it was to uh, create this infographic. And uh, do press on the subscribe button and bell icon for more tutorials and alerts. Hope to see you soon. I hope you enjoyed this. Tata. Take care. Bye.